So we're just looking at youth. We're looking at the very beginning and just trying to work out a finger picking arrangement. So here's how it might sound. So I'll just go through that slowly now. We're going to start off with our first finger on the second fret of the G string doing a pull off. So we're going to start off by playing once with our index finger and then we're going to pull it off which is just where we kind of push down down towards the ground with this finger. We're just going to push it down and that should pluck the string. So a bit of a different technique to what we usually use. We're plucking with our right hand. We're going to actually pluck it with our left hand. It's called a pull off. So we start off with that and then we're going to fret this third fret of the low E string with our second finger and at the same time we're going to we're going to pluck with our thumb on the E the low E string and we're going to pluck with our index finger on the open G string and we're going to play the second fret with a hammer on this time so instead of a pull off we're kind of the opposite we're hammering on so we're going to play open string and then push our index finger as hard as we can to get a nice sound out of that we're going to just push that onto the second fret so here's what we've got so far we've got our pull off and then we're going to fret on the third the third fret of the low e play the open g and then hammer onto the second fret then we do a couple of extra plucks then one on open and then we're going to do a, a, a hammer on from the second to the fourth frets on the G string. So now we've got, I'll do that a couple times a little slower. And notice that I'm trying to alternate my first and second fingers where I can. Which might be a little bit tricky at the start, but you'll find it's, it's much more helpful to do it that way, uh, a much more economical way of doing it. So we've done that and we've kind of been using this sequence over a, a low G. But now we're going to do the same sequence, but over a, an open D. So we're going to do the same thing, but this time Instead of, an uh, instead of the low G, we're going to do an open D. Same thing, one more time, but this time over an E, low E. So here's what we've got so far. off by plucking on the fourth fret of the G string and then we're going to fret the third fret of the A string which is a C note and then the second fret of the D string which is an E note. We're going to play those together and that's the last part of this section of the song. So I'll just play that whole thing one more time. So hopefully that makes sense. It doesn't really matter what fingers you are using, um, whether it's the third finger here or whether it's the, the fourth finger, just whatever's comfortable. And yeah, hopefully that helps.